the age of 18 and you are watching this video, please stop now. This content was not intended for you. Hey everybody, it's Tamika and I am here with a tutorial of an SVG file I received from Nicole, who is Nicole Paper Crafts and Nicole Silhouette on uh, Instagram. I will link her shop and her Instagram down below in the description box. I love her files. I've done a couple, a few of her things already on my channel. So... Um, a couple people from my Patreon had purchased this file and just wanted a little bit of assistance about how to put it together. So um, that's what we're doing today. I use the Summer Market Paper Kit um, from Cartabella. It's a really pretty kit. I have it in the 12x12 and the 6x6. So it's a really fun summer uh, paper, lots of fun colors. So I will be filling uh, this tote with embellishments. So I'm not sure if I'm going to do a like a craft along with me like I did the trolley that I got from Nicole. Or if I'll just share with you guys at the end what I put in my tote. So um, just stay tuned for that video when it's complete. Well for now I'm going to show you the tote in its entirety. Well, not even that. I just decorated a little bitty things on it, a little bit on it. After you see the end of this video, just just a couple things on it. But um, I'm gonna put some more stuff on it. But I wanted to go ahead and get this video up, so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I have now. All right, and this is how it turned out. So cute, such fun colors. So it's a double hand or double um, handle tote really very very sturdy of course I used very sturdy cardstock so um, the <clears throat> excuse me the options are you can there's this type of pocket there is um, this type of pocket and there's also a long um, tall pocket that you could use I just wanted mine to have the three on the side and the two little ones in the back and then I have all of my pockets have a velcro closure that's what the box looks on the inside. And then it's fairly deep. Um, you can put lots of things in these little compartments. And um, really, really cute. And then on the back here, you have the two accordion pockets that, you know, you can put your little scissors or whatever little goodies you want to add in on that as well. Just a fun little tote. And then I created uh, for this file that doesn't come with any offset pieces. So in the video, I show you how to create like offset pieces for all of the parts that uh, come in. It's very easy to put together and it's not a lot of work. So um, this is all I put on the front so far. I did punch my hole for my little charm that I'm going to put, <laughs> but I'll decorate it later when I start adding stuff to it. So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comment section. All right, let's go. All right, guys, so I have a blank screen here. I'm using Silhouette Studio Business Edition, and I have my page set to 12 by 12. So what I do is go ahead and grab my file and then just drag it onto my page. And I know that I saved it in my downloads. So I just literally drag it over, and it drops it in there. You can't see, um, well, I hope you can see, but it's hard for me to see. But this is everything that drops in. And I'm going to change it to just a color so you can see how much is actually there. So that is what you should get. Um, so I'm going to change it back to uh, no color because once I do, I lose the little handles. And I need to be able to see those So to make offsets. So what we will do when your screen drops in like this, these four, one, two, three, four, are your side walls. So that's what that is. Uh, this square here is your bottom of your box. These two are your handles, and you'll want to cut, if you're going to have two handles, you'll want to cut four of these. This makes one handle, so if you're going to do one with your caddy box, you're, you have enough. If not, cut two of these out. This is your pocket and um, flap. These are the two small accordion pockets, and this is the long uh, pocket. Now, you can decide to cut out two or three or four or whatever your combination is you can put them wherever you want on your tote um, so I'm not going to cut out this long one instead I'm going to cut out um, three of these 
and two of these. Um, that's just the way that I want um, my caddy to go. So that's what I'm going to do. And then um, I'm going to show you guys how to do an offset. This file does not come with offset pieces, but it's easily fixable. So I'm going to grab this, these, get my tongue together here, and take off the color so we can go back to where we were. So when I make my offset pieces, I change them into a different color. I'm going to go to my offset panel, and I'm going to do an internal offset and hit apply. So when we're laying this down, it'll be a little offset. My uh, internal offset automatically sets itself, and I think everyone does, to 125. So that's the middle of the piece down that goes on here for the layering. So you can use white cardstock for your base and then you know get your design paper so we will need to cut this out one two three four times and then one for the bottom so I'm just gonna highlight it and duplicate it highlight it and duplicate it again to make four and then one more time and duplicate it so now we have five pieces this piece I'm gonna group together just for my own sanity that piece goes with the bottom so that's all done that goes there that goes there this is how I keep track of what I've offset and what I what I didn't so these are all done so oh my gosh come on here this is how my mind works obviously it's not working too well right now but I'm gonna grab all of these together group them and move them out of the way I've done that so now some of these things are a little tricky so this is why I'm showing you guys this individually I'm not going to use this piece this is a tall longer piece um, you could use this and then one of the little the little tiny ones on the side it should fit the box but I don't want to use this this longer piece I prefer the little square so I'm not going to use this at all uh, like I said these are the accordion pieces and here is the pocket that I'm going to use and I'm going to cut out three times so what I need to do here is go over to the left here grab a square hopefully you guys can see and right inside this little area here I'm gonna draw a box click on my arrow let's just move up a little bit draw a box and Put that in there this can go a little bit bigger just kind of try to get the same offset as everything else that looks good so that's my offset for that I'm gonna paint that pink so I know that that's an offset and then for the top of the lid the little flap I'm gonna grab the rounded rectangle all right and then I'm gonna do the same thing kind of follow it along or you could just grab a do a regular rectangle and then just round your corners so I'm gonna increase this just a little bit because I don't want I need to cut it straight I need to cut the top half straight I don't want the top here up here rounded because that's a straight edge so I uh, make it a little bit taller so that I'll have that room to cut cut off what I need and then because we made that we need to convert that into a path get rid of the little arrow bubbles and then we turn that pink see so now the rounds down here at the bottom make sense and then I can cut off the extra so that pocket is done I'll need to group that and then I'm going to duplicate it and then duplicate it again because remember I'm making three of these all right so that's three one two three group that all together and move it out of the way so now we have two pockets and then we have these pockets here I'm just gonna ungroup that because I only need um, oh I need both of these yeah that's right so what I'm gonna do here is do the same thing grab myself a little rectangle hold on let me increase this a little bit so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing that makes it a little better grab my little rectangle 
and then this space in the middle now we're not going to go past the perforated dots because we don't want to, to cover those it'll interfere with how the project is complete and then we make ourselves a little cover so I'm going to color that because I know it's an offset and then I'm going to duplicate that because I'm doing two pockets so one for that one and then one for that one and then I'm just going to group these and move it out of the way and then let's see what else do we have is that it oh no I'm not doing this pocket so I'm going to delete that and these are the handles so I'll need to um, I'm going to ungroup this this is the one that gets a smidge smidge tricky all right I'm going to bring that down so you guys can at least see and let's talk about moving uh, the uh, transparency down a little bit It'll just be white okay so we have that now what I want to do is I want to ungroup this it's ungrouped and then I want to just copy this by duplicating it move that out and out the way I'm going to group all of these back together except for that little piece okay grouped back together now it's one piece now I want to go over to my offset and then create an internal offset for that and hit apply now we just have this you see how it doesn't have the little window there but I want a little bit more definition so I'm gonna offset it once more and hit apply and I want this smaller one so I'm gonna remove that outer one so this is the second offset alright I'm gonna put it back on here see that's how I want it you may have to trim down when you get it see how it's just a hair on the edge you may have to trim that down a smidge but not too much so once I've got that on there I'm gonna highlight everything I'm gonna go over to my um, transform button and hit the horizontal center so it'll center the paper on there the offset and then let's see let hit this one all right so now we have everything all center and then I'm going to put this little square right back on top and line it as best I can and then move the other one out of the way and then group this together so that now the offset has the hole as well just like that otherwise you won't have it and then I'm going to go over here and paint it pink and then I am going to um, uh, mirror this it may be the exact same and you may not need it may not be too much of a change but I'm going to mirror right by using my replicate button over here and then mirror right so that we can have a panel on the back side of the, the caddies so we need one on the front one on the back and just in case the shapes line up a little differently and then I'm going to duplicate that set because again you need two of these cut out and each one requires two pieces so we have that and that which are the same so I'm going to duplicate this to make it so that's one handle and that's one handle and then we have that this is going to be the back side so we put that there because remember that's the uh, mirror right and that goes on there and then we're going to group these together okay and then, yeah okay so that's all set we have our um, again we have the offset and the main pieces for the caddy handles and this is if you want two handles like it has in the picture if you only want one you only cut two of the bases and two of the offset pieces this uh, set here is your base of the, the bottom of your caddy plus the offset piece. And then I have three pockets. This is a landscape pocket. Um, so I cut that out three. I'm going to put one on each of the three sides. And then um, this is the little accordion pocket. I'm going to put two on the back on two of the uh, on one side. Two of these can fit on one panel. So I'm going to put two on the back. 
and then these are our walls plus the offset pieces so that's all we'll need and then uh, so go ahead and cut all of these out um, in the pattern paper and the cardstock that you choose and then meet me back here to put it together all right so I have gone ahead and cut out all the pieces um, that I'll need to get this project complete and what you should have right now if you're doing it exactly as I am as mentioned in the previous clip you'll need four of the handles because I'm doing the two handle caddy you'll need four of these bigger pieces well it's actually two each so two pieces have this little attaching thing at the bottom so one and two and then two pieces have the little perforated marks just in the middle and at the bottom so you need two each two of those and two of those those make your walls and then like I mentioned I'm doing three landscape pockets and then this is what that looks like and these are the tops of the pockets all right and then I have the uh, two pockets for the back side um, of the caddy so three pockets and then the two pockets so this is the base. This is all we need to create the tote, my caddy. And then I've already gone ahead and cut out my pieces that I'm going to use, my offsets. So I'm going to put these aside. I've already gone ahead. Now this is the bottom piece. So I didn't stitch that. I um, didn't need to stitch that. But I've already gone ahead and stitched around all the pieces to cover the whole caddy. So there's the four panel covers of the um, tote and then there are did I miss one I missed one darn it I have to go and sew this real quick and there are three cover pieces for my pocket that's the lid and then the two for the small ones and then we have the front and back of the caddy holder so give me a quick second let me go ahead and stitch this okay now we're done <laughs> So I am going to set those aside and we're going to just go ahead and put this together. So you will need to grab you some double sided tape. I'm using a quarter inch and then some wet glue. I'm using some Barely Arts wet glue and then your bone folder kind of help press everything along. So we're going to set all of the pockets aside and understand there's a white balance issue but my bases are 120 pound weight cardstock and they're white so I kind of give off that little balance but I'm hoping that you guys can see everything okay so um what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with the base Let's move this out the way. we're gonna start with this piece with the three sides at the bottom and this is the way that my paper is folded that way so I'm just gonna follow that along by folding up my perforated marks and I use my silhouette cameo I cut this on um, a pass of two so a pass of three kind of tears the paper two is perfect just enough to get it to get it where it needs to be so you have one with three pieces and then you need to grab one with the perforation mark in the middle and at the bottom. Fold that over. Let's fold this bottom piece up as well. All right, so they're gonna go side by side like this. Three piece, one piece at the bottom. Now we're gonna add tape or glue or wet glue or whatever to that end. Put these together and lay this on top like that. So I'm gonna use double-sided tape. Got a good press, and I'm also going to just run a little bead of wet glue on there. We're going to line these up side by side and then press this down. And I'm going to go over that with my bone folder. So then you want to grab uh, the piece that has the three again, and then we're going to fold up all the edges. Okay, 
Don't do anything else. And so then this is going to go on this side to connect. Just like that. So I'm going to do the same thing. Add some double sided tape and some wet glue. I'm going to line these up. And lay it down. Alright. And then you want to take the last piece and fold it over. This should be the piece that you're folding in half and then the lip at the bottom and add your tape to the side. And finally, line this up. All right, you should have what looks like this. Just flip it over the other side and just make sure everything is nice and clean. Again, I'm using 120 pound weight cardstock. All right, so what we wanna do is uh, we're gonna close two, three, and four panels. And I'm going to use wet glue for this. So, just want to add wet glue all the way around, all the edges, and close that and make sure that it's covering the two pieces on the end that you added the tape to. It should cover, if everything is cut out and positioned correctly, it should cover all of that inside. Also, if you want, you can cut the panels that you cut for the outside of the box for the inside of the box if you want to add paper to the inside of your box. All right, we want to do the same thing to panel two. And we're going to do one. I was thinking that we had to save this one to the end, but it's the fourth panel. You have to save to the end. Okay. Go ahead and fold that over, leaving this flap out, leaving that end piece out. All right. That should be super stable. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and cut some pieces, the same um, pieces or the same size that I cut the outside panels, those squares, I'm going to cut some um, really quick for the inside so the inside can have a little pattern to it too. I'm going to do that and I'll be back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and add some wet glue to the back of these panels. And lay it right on top there. Perfect little offsets. Yay, me. I'm trying to think if I want to. Yeah, we'll switch it up. This is double sided. Just add that. This paper is really pretty. And I hope the recipient likes it. And remember, this is going to go on the outside. We're just going to temporarily. Flip it down since we're just here, and then go ahead and lay this down. All right, so that's done. Now we're going to add um, double sided tape to the end there and attach it to the opposite side. Again, I'm just going to add a little bit of wet glue. Or added security and then we're gonna go ahead leave this flap open you're gonna go ahead and attach this to the side all right and now we can go ahead and fold this down to cover up that last little tab that we just laid down Add your wet glue. There we go. Let that fall in there. And this is what you should have with the little extra lips down there at the bottom. The little, see those little white things that are folded over? We're going to flip it over to the other side, nice and sturdy. 
And then we're going to grab that square piece. All right. I'm not sure if I showed this in the beginning. I had a whole other sheet sitting off to the side that had my pockets and this on it. But you'll need the bottom piece, which I showed you in the video. So what I'm going to do is just add um, double-sided tape around the perimeter of this bottom, just on the outside. And then I'm going to give it a press. Okay, now flip it over and I'm going to add my base cover so when you look inside the caddy, it's not naked down there. There we go. Lay that down. Cute paper. All right, probably would have been better to do that this way, but I laid the paper on the wrong side. So. Now I have to flip it over and do it this way, which is fine. You can do it whichever way you'd like. Probably, I don't know, this might be the better way anyway, instead of trying to stand it up and angle it. At least that's what I'm going to tell myself. That's what I tell myself to make it through. All right. Um, so I am going to preciously line this up so that it can fall on top of the tabs that are down there. Ha! It works. I'm going to grab my bone folder. Super cute in there. Now I see that I'm going to have to cut a piece um, to cover the bottom we really don't want that to be hanging out the bottom on the outside all right so I've cut out a piece here for the base I just recut the base again and then I'm just gonna lay it oops gotta match the lines up I'm gonna lay it right on top to cover the lines all done. I think that is so cute. Such a cute box. Very sturdy. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is layer move that out the way. We're going to layer our caddy pieces together. So you're going to take two of them and face them back to back. Make sure everything is just lined up. That you have everything lined up best you can okay and then you want to fold up your perforation perforated marks so on this side we're gonna fold up all the spaces here okay and then make sure you got the right section Okay, and then you're going to line up the piece and then you're going to push them in the opposite direction. So what you should have, it'll be lined up like this if you're doing two or well, one caddy, this, you just need two. And then your thing should be flipped out like this. So that's how they should look. One's going up, one's going down. So what we're going to do is glue everything to itself on each other minus the flaps. Grab yourself your wet glue. Okay. Line up your handles. That's what people see first. And then get the rest of your bag together. Let's try. This is how this will look like this. Put this in there. So if you do one, it'll just be like this. And then you just would carry it. And if you do two, you know, you'll have two hands. So make sure this is matched up. Oh, the wrong way. There we go. And then this top half, 
we're going to flip up and then the bottom half is going to go in the opposite direction. So we're going to add some double sided tape to both sides of these flaps and then you want to add them to all the way around. So both sides of the flap on the left, the right and the bottom. So I'm going to do that really quickly. All right. Once you've done all the sides, I'm just going to add a little bit of wet glue just to help it a little bit, be a little bit more stable. You want to be careful of where you're putting this at. So have them, have them open, open, wide open, as wide as can be. And then you want to see, you got to stand up for this. Go ahead and layer this down. I'm actually using that bottom line down there as my guide. And then I'm going to grab my foam folder. Make sure that's as straight as it can be. Using my mat. This side over. Yep. All right. So there's that. Really cool. And before I put this next one in, I'm going to go ahead and layer my piece here. So that's going to look like that. This is so cute. Especially with the little stitching. Glad I did that double offset because I don't have to um, cut off the ends. I didn't have to cut off the ends or anything. All right, and then I'm going to add the back. Oh, there. Oh, there, Charlie. All right, that's the front. And there's the back. All right, and then I'm going to repeat that step to the next piece. All right, we have both of them in here, and that's how far I spaced them apart. That's how it looks nice and sturdy. So um, now what we're going to do is lay down the pattern papers that I have cut out. And I have these cute little campers, really pretty. And I'm using hot glue for this front piece. Cute. Really pretty. Oh my gosh. And I'm just going to keep going around. Really cute. Okay, so now we can lay out the pockets. I'm going to actually lay down my pattern paper on here first. And then what you want to do is fold this down all the way around. Like so, you want to tuck in these little nibs. And then there's one more fold at the end. You want to fold that down as well. And it creates like a box, sort of, like this. Okay. And then these little tabs, you can use hot glue or wet glue or whatever you want to use. That little tab attaches to the one right next to it. This little tab attaches there. And I just used a dab of hot glue. And then I'm just going to close it down. And we have our little pocket. And then there's a flap, which is this piece. We just want to fold that over. And this is that, um, you know, that one that we made the bottom half curl where the whole thing curl and then we cut off the top part so that's all that I did was a rounded four square so I just made it big enough where I can slit off the top measured it and just slit off the top and that's that's how it turned out so I'm going to add some glue to the back like that and then this will sit uh, on the box like this and I should probably yeah I should probably add a strip up here Let's see if I got some yellow left. All right, I had some paper strips left. This measures about half an inch, so I just cut it um, a little bit shorter than that. 
and this is actually from the rim of the paper. So let's see. I'm glad I saved that. Cut that down and just give it a little bit of a border. Boom. So I'm going to use some wet glue on here just to tie everything in. And again, that'll go like this. And that goes on here like that. Love it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and add some wet glue here. I don't want to add hot glue because um, if I move and shift, that's where it's going to sit at. And I want to give myself a little bit of room to play with. All right. And I want to set that right about there. And then I'm just going to hold it. All right. That's on there. So then we want to go ahead and add this to the top. How cute. I love mixing these colors. And um, I'm going to add some double-sided tape to this. Slide that down in there where it needs to be. Kind of open it up. Make sure. One folder. like that and then I'm going to repeat that for two more sides all right so all of these are done super cute I'm going to put some velcro on here um, to keep them closed and then oh my gosh it is just so adorable all right and then now last but not least we have the two little pockets in the back that's what that looks like and I'm gonna go ahead and add the off the pattern papers to that all right so there's a lot of perforated marks you want to fold it the bottom half in and in again and then oh my gosh I'm sorry. and then here you want to go down on both sides and then so you want to go um, mountain valley so down, then up. My paper is a little hard to fold because it's such a heavy paper. But you want to mountain valley this whole section on both sides for both pieces. Just like so, you repeat it to the other one, All right? And that's what you should have. So you're going to add glue to the bottom. Not this piece, just the bottom on the inside here. And then this flap, all of the flaps that you're going to add glue to have a little angle to them. All right, so this is going to go in the back like so. So for this, I'm actually going to add hot glue to that piece. And then I'm going to set it down, lining it up with there we go, lining it up with the piece on the side here as best I can. And then we want to add glue and these are going to tuck under like that just like that and look at that just the cutest little accordion pocket and then you want to do the same thing over here there we go there are the two pieces super cute it's just adorable. I'm going to get a little bit of Velcro and put on the sides of these pockets. And then I'm going to do a little bit of decoration. So for now, this is where we are. Nice and sturdy. Yeah, this thing is sturdy. So let me grab some Velcro facts. Again, I wish I had some magnets. I was doing, when I was doing the trolley, um, another one of Nicole's um, files that I did a series on. I'll link it down below. But when I was doing the trolley, I was like, oh, I need some magnets. I don't have any tiny magnets. I would have liked to do a little magnet closure. And I still haven't gotten the magnets. It's okay. 
spell crow will work perfectly all right that's the end guys so i hope you like it i'm going to do some decorating and then i'll be back later to fill this cute little tote up um i will have a link to nicole's um shop where you can find this file and her instagram where you can see all of her other inspirational stuff all right i will talk to you guys later bye